Hey, it's Bobby Slayton, the pit bull of comedy. You know what I listen to? Laugh Attack. <laughs> and how did you meet your wife? Um, well, it's kind of corny, but she came to one of my shows with some friends. And I saw her, and it's, oh, this sounds so stupid because I'm not a romantic guy, but I, I knew I was going to marry her. I just knew it. I know everybody says, oh, I'm going to marry that chick. But, but I just knew I was going to marry her. And I asked her out, and I embarrassed her on our first day. We went to this Wolfgang Puck restaurant, my 54 Chevy. And we came out of the restaurant, and she was very shy. And I made a little bit of a scene in a funny way, I think. Not like Jerry Lewis. Like, why not? It wasn't that much of a scene, but... I guess I was too uh, overbearing for her. <laughs> and she said she wouldn't date me again. This is actually a great story. She said she wouldn't date me again. I called up a roommate. I said, you've got to tell Teddy, my wife, I won't do that again next time. I won't embarrass her. So my wife gets on the phone and says, you know, you have to come to my house. I'll make you dinner this time. Okay, I don't want to go out with you again until I see how you act. I mean, she wasn't quite that condescending. I thought you were a good inside you, boyfriend. I'll make you dinner. Why don't you just come over to the house? So I went over to the house and she made me this amazing chicken. We had to marinate lemons and put in rock salt for like a week. Okay, and then we got married. And she didn't make that chicken again for me for well over 10 years. She was always too busy. She had a job at the time. Then she quit her job. And then there was another problem. And you know, it was always something. She never made the chicken again. She made it on our first or second official date. Never had the chicken again. She made it 10 years later, and it sucked because she didn't take the time to marinate the lemons <laughs> properly. And it sucked. I think she made it again last year, and it sucked. So I, she, I've never asked her to do anything, so that's why I cook. I cook maybe out of necessity, so and I cook to keep her out of the kitchen, and I cook because I like what I cook. So uh, you took your wife to Wolfgang Puck's on your first date? Well, one of his restaurants. Not Wolfgang Puck's, like Cafe. One of his famous, like, Spago. But still, like, it's a Spago. That's Chinois. badass, man. Like, was this, like, in the 90s, 80s? Yes, well, those restaurants were good. I mean, yeah. they still are great. I mean, we took it to Chinois, which is a really, it's still there on Main Street in Santa Monica and Venice. Um, well, yeah, it's our first day. What do you, what do you think of it? That's pretty impressive. Buffet? I don't know. Where will you take a chicken on the first day? You obviously don't date much, do you? No, I don't. No. Girls don't admit You sit home, watch MTD me. videos, you go, God, I'm going to get the guy on my stupid show. Absolutely. But, yeah. yeah, that's a, yeah. Um, wait, no, but you, know, you live here in Toronto. Yes, I do. So if you were going to take a woman on the first date, wouldn't you take her to one of the nicest restaurants? Depends on how much money she's got. How much money she's got? <laughs> no, I don't know. I, uh, I, I, I probably wouldn't take her to a super fancy place because I'd be afraid of having to follow that. Um, well, they're not super fancy. Well, they just, Spago's? <laughs> it's like the benchmark for fancy restaurants. Not really. It's, really? it's pretty, uh, you know, it's, the food's pretty, uh, the prices are very uh, reasonable mm. if you know how to order. Huh. And, you know, but I was making money at the time, so it's okay. Yeah. And in L.A., there's so many nice restaurants. Yeah, there's tons know? of them, huh? So I, it's like, I, and she was really hot. <laughs> and she was, you know, really smart. I couldn't Were there flowers it. as well? Did you pull out all the stops? Uh, flowers? No, 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 no. I wasn't that corny. No. No, I wasn't, I wasn't getting married. I wasn't trying to marry her or anything. No, I just picked up my 54 Chevy, put in some old R&B, and went to, to a nice restaurant. So that was That's a, pretty standard dating procedure. That is pretty standard. Is that, is that right? You ask your producer over here. Yeah. Is that what you do? I mean, a guy picks you up, don't you expect him to take you to a nice place? Well, she's from the if Ukraine. If a guy took you to a place that wasn't that nice, you go, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? If you try <laughs> to impress a woman, you want to take her to the nicest place you can. It doesn't have to be the most expensive yeah. place. You know, but it has to be really nice. I don't know. I want to set that bar nice and low, man. I don't want to have to have any expectations. Are you dating anybody now? Yeah, I've got a girlfriend. Yeah, I'm sure she's a prize. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's a real treasure. Oh, we can compare pictures if you want. Huh? We can compare pictures if you want. Oh, I know I'd win. So it's, it's like comparing cocks. I'm not going to. Like Milton Burrow says, I take out just enough to win. <laughs> this is Laugh Attack. XM 153.